strike one. Call Trotters still kind of messing around in the bullpen. Doesn't look like he's ready to come in as Nicholas hammers one. Deep to left field, turning, looking, and goodbye. Brian Nicholas swats a breaking ball at the neck level and sends it out of here in a hurry. Brian Nicholas with his first home run of the season. That's RBI number five. And Coppin State cuts the deficit to three. I mean, I underestimate that wasn't neck high. That was head high. And he went hunting for that baseball and sent it over. First pitch driven to right center off the bat of Nicholas. Long run for Surrett and Sampson. That's going to one hop the wall. Surrett cuts it off. Nicholas with good speed is going for three. Wade bobbled the throw. The relay will come in to Hunt. Gets away. Yawn right there to cover. Well done. That'll keep Nicholas to third, but a two-out triple. Let's see what Coach Perillo decides to do here. Keith Gardner is in the batter's box right now. We know how dangerous of a bat he's been this weekend. Coach Perillo's out of the dugout. Let's see if he's going to pull Yawn here. That's just the third hit that Garrett Yon has surrendered, but it was well struck. Surrett is able to cut it off before it gets to the wall, but Nicholas was hustling the entire way. And then that extra little bobble by Jared Wade as he fielded that throw ensured Nicholas would get there to third base. And a great play by Yon after the fact to back up Christopher Hunt as the ball got by him. So Perillo goes out to the mound, but he has not pulled Garrett Yon. He is going to. So Bueller is likely up for Brett Curran, who's now three batters away. Can't imagine Coach Perillo is going to want Uomoto to start facing members of this lineup, some of them for a third time. Down on the count, 2-0 and right now on Nicholas. Pitch. Lined up the middle, a base hit. Round a chance to get Dorsin. Clean base hit up the middle for Nicholas. Samson with the... Three games against Delaware State that has increased their runs per game number in conference play all the way up to 8.2. Big chance here for Jarek Wade, and he lays it down the bunt perfectly. Nicholas on the run gets it over to first. Wade with the 5 3 sacrifice. On to third goes power to second, JC Navarro. And this is who you want up, Connor Price. Both pitchers here having very laborsome starts. A lot of pitches, a lot of base runners. Both offenses are really clicking out of the gate as Perea steps off. Big chance here for Christopher Hunt to continue the offensive momentum that he picked up against Delaware State. Pick up another multi-hit game and it would be huge here. Grounded to the right side, left side rather, Nicholas has to hustle the throw and they beat Hunt by a step. Nicholas knew he had that extra just enough time. Sets and fires a bullet across. And a great job there by Perea. He limits the damage to one in the inning. The one, a Jake Mastillo. Keep the line moving for Carlton Harper. Big pitch here for Rafino. Coppin State needs this first out in a big, big way. The pitch. Power pops it up. Third base side, Nicholas. Looks like he has room. And he makes the catch. Huge first out for the Eagles. Base is loaded, one out for Harper. Harper's one, but certainly is. You have five guys who are capable of playing every day, have earned the opportunity to play every day. When they're all batting over 300, you've got to find ways to get them all into the lineup, and it isn't easy. But he's able to do it today. Round at the third, this could be two. Nicholas to second one, on to first, and not in time. 
Good hustle there from Wade. And the inning continues for Christopher Hund. Harper's out at second. Well, wasn't it too hard to third? Nicholas takes his time to get the throw to second. Miley had to throw on the run, moving towards third. 